In the city of angels, a new star is born. I hope you are ready for me, Halliswood. Rico is at your doorstep. Rico was made by puppet creator Jim Henson's company. Well, look, I want to go inside and check out the puppets. Do you want to come too? Oh, no, 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 Miss Emma. I cannot live in the past. I must move ever forward. I am off to see Halliswood. He should have come with me. Phenomena. Inside Jim Henson's Creature Shop in Los Angeles are all sorts of Hollywood and TV stars. Julie Zobel has worked here for 30 years. It's quiet in here at this moment, but it is. we have had just one thing after another, from um, doing things for Lady Gaga to doing um, movies to doing commercials. It just There seems to be sort of a constant flow. From animatronics like this George of the Jungle gorilla to this prototype for where the wild things are, this workshop makes the unbelievable believable. Speaking of which, where is Rico? So nice. I love to feel the Hollywood blowing me. It's a little too much tail. Don't want to show everyone this much tail, you know? Don't be an unsafe driver, these people. She was from the Orient. Rico's heritage is murky. He started out as a cross between a sloth and a raccoon, then evolved into a cute furball of indeterminate origin. Once the sketches were really honed down to what we thought would be the final character, we start by um, creating the head is the first thing you need to create because that is the gem of the entire puppet. That's where everyone's going to look. Um, and that's where the expressions and the character come through. I don't know why people like looking at things that aren't real. Very strange. Now he's an international traveler. This is the, the famous a strip of the of the Hollywood's boulevards. Ah, the smell of the homeless.